Hi, welcome everybody. I'm Lars Eric Robinson. My company is Lars Arts. And today I thought we'd talk about how to use charcoal and pastel. And I started copying one of my masks that I have on my bigger piece here just to show you on a great piece of paper how to pick out the highlights. So the basis to, to start in a charcoal piece is actually you could take the wider piece and you can, you can use the paper as, as a medium. This is a middle gray. And then I did a sketch here already, which I used a watercolor wash. This is a light wash. And um, you can actually take a little water and just blend it out. And it's very great for that. So I'm taking my highlighter here, the white. And if you want a sharp edge, you can actually take one of these sharpeners, which is like, and we'll sharpen the edge, edge of this white. Take it against the paper and you can get a sharp edge to your, to your white. And I like being able to pop in my, um, my whites real quick so that I know where the light's hitting and where it's not. So I just want to do a quick demonstration so you can see how it works. Now I'm doing thinner lines, like for example, if we have some thinner lines. And that's by me sharpening it with the sandpaper pad that I have there. Now, if you want to pop a few colors in there, most, most of this piece is earth tones. So if you take the chalk, you can take that right on top. You'll notice that and it's kind of faded out on the other. This side's sharper, and this side's faded out. Once again, we'll do that over here. One side's sharper, one side's faded out. That's one way to do it. If you want to get circles, which we have as eyes as circles, you can actually take the, lean, on, lean your chalk this way, and then turn it. And turn it like that. One great thing about charcoal is that if you want to get lines, it's not you can actually create lines really boldly with it, and that's a really nice effect. And then if you want to take the whole side, it fills in very fast. So you don't have to sit there. Like They also have pencils to create the smaller detail. So that gives you a little bit of an explanation how to use it. And I hope you uh, just keep experimenting with, with, chalk, with charcoal and pastels. It's a really great medium. And uh, when you're done, you use a fixative. A workable fixative usually is what I prefer. Thank you guys so much for, for joining me and enjoy.